Welcome to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast, where we share tips, techniques, and true stories to support you in using the law of attraction and alchemy to create magic and live the life of your dreams. Here's your host, the founder of DailyAlchemy.com, Michelle Martin Dobbins. Hey guys, it's Michelle Martin Dobbins from DailyAlchemy.com. And today I want to talk to you about why you can't get what you want. Ah, it seems really unfair, right? And the reason is because you're wanting it. I know that doesn't really seem like it makes sense. But when you're talking about alchemy and you're talking about the law of attraction, you're talking about feeling how you want to feel. That's what brings you the inspired actions and leads you to get the thing that you quote unquote want. But when you're sitting there feeling wanting emotions, the wanting emotion is a feeling of I don't have it right now. And it's like a grasping, reaching emotion. So you don't want to feel the feeling of wanting. You want to feel the feeling of having. And I know this can be a little bit confusing because you're going, but I don't have it. I want it. But as long as you keep wanting it, you'll keep wanting it and not having it. A lot of times when we, sorry guys, there's a puppy in the background being crazy. (laughs) When we feel like we have something, it's so much easier for us to get it because we already are, we're lining up our energy. And even if though we don't have it in that moment, feeling the feelings that we would feel when we have it helps us to get to have it. So let me try to think of a nice explanation, a nice story to go along with this. Okay, so I'm going to share a story that's just a basic thing that I think all of us have probably seen in action. Like when you want a new relationship, you really want it. You have that like desperation, that that strong, strong desire for it. And you're like, pushing away anybody that could potentially want to be there with you because you want it too bad. And that wanting energy is not attractive. It pushes away. But when you already feel like you have a relationship, and this is a story that I told in Relationship Alchemy, it's kind of the process that I went through to meet my husband was I pretended like I already had a relationship, but the man that I was in the relationship with had to go overseas for his work for like a year or so. And he was going to be in this really remote area. So we really couldn't have contact the one place where there's no Wi-Fi or any of that kind of stuff. But I know that he loves me and I know that we have this really great relationship. And when he gets back, things are just going to pick up where they left off and it's going to be amazing. So I'm going through life in this energy of having a relationship. And when I did that, I started meeting all kinds of nice people and, you know, and ended up meeting my husband. And I really believe it was because I shifted from that energy, that wanting energy, really wanting to get married and having children and the biological clock is ticking into, oh, it's okay. I've already met the perfect person. You know, they'll be back soon. Let's just enjoy life right now, knowing that I have a relationship. And then I could just jump into life and do all the fun things that I wanted to do. I wasn't waiting for him to come back because I knew he wanted me to have a good time while he was gone and it was all fine. And that energy is so much more attractive and it brings the things that you want in your life too. That doesn't mean you don't have to go outside the house. Obviously, you still have to go out. You still have to take inspired action to get the things that you want. But if you already have that feeling of having them, it really, it makes a difference on what you can attract. Now, you know, another example is when somebody wants to have a baby and they can't have a baby. How many of you have heard that story of they adopt a baby and the next thing you know, they're pregnant because they let go of wanting the baby. They have the baby and then it becomes easier for their body to get pregnant. You know, it doesn't happen all the time, but I have heard that story so many times that once they let go of, you know, needing to get pregnant and they already had that energy of having a baby, then it just took care of itself. It happens so many times. So my advice to you, if there's something that you really want is to do one of two things. One 
is if you just can't let go of that gripping, wanting desire is to just focus on something else. Focus on a part of your life that's already good, where you already have a lot of what you want and just really enjoy the feelings of having what you want. Like if you have a great job, but you're looking for a relationship, just savor and enjoy the fact that you have that great job. And then, you know, if you're willing to play and change your story and you can do it without just getting too locked in it, tell yourself a new story about having that thing that you want. Even if it's a make-believe story and get into the feelings of it. And I know it's not real, but sometimes when you do that and you can feel that energy and that story and you play with it and you get real lighthearted with it and you be that person who already has that thing that you want, it's going to make it so much easier for you to take the steps and follow your inspiration, follow your intuition to, you know, lead you down that path to get what you want. And I keep saying, get what you want when I'm telling you, you can't have what you want. You can have the things that you desire, but you have to shift that energy into feeling like, Not only is it possible for you to have it, it's already a done deal. You know, it's like you've put the, taken the check to the bank and deposited it and you're just waiting for it to show up in your account. So go out there and have a magical day. Make some wonderful deposits into your mental and spiritual accounts today. Namaste and big hugs. Would you like some help creating more magic in your life? I've got a ton of freebies and goodies for you. They're all tucked away inside my magical freebie vault. You can get free access though. You just have to go to www.dailyalchemy.com forward slash magical dash freebie dash vault. Again, that's dailyalchemy.com forward slash magical dash freebie dash vault. And when you get there, you can just plug in your name and email and you will get instant access to all kinds of goodies. There are daily and weekly manifesting planners, the how to shift your vibe in five minutes e-kit that has audios and a workbook. There are moon manifesting planners and daily love lists and money trackers and all kinds of goodies right there. I didn't want to make you have to go to a bunch of different pages and sites and wait for certain freebies to come out. So I just took all of my freebies and put them in one place where you could just sign up one time and download any of them that you want at any time that you needed. So you can just head on over to dailyalchemy.com forward slash magical dash freebie dash vault and download them today. Have a magical day. Thanks for listening to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast. Connect with me on the dailyalchemy.com or Facebook at facebook.com slash Michelle Dobbins author. Join us next time for even more magical life tips.